Alright guys, and welcome back to Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. Now, as you saw in the last video, things were getting creepy yet again from waking up randomly at 2 or even 3 in the morning to Connor honestly being a little suspicious, not telling us everything to just overall the eerie vibe in the forest. But if you guys have been enjoying the Fears to Fathom videos, there is a playlist on the channel, so go check it out if you guys have not yet seen the other ones. But without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get right into the video. Alright guys, and here we are. We just got done sipping our morning coffee or evening coffee, I don't know which one. And we just got done taking some beautiful pictures of the scenery. But here we are, night two. This is our second night in the tower, and honestly... I feel like it's just gonna get really worse from now on. I'm not even gonna lie. This game does not look that peaceful. Like, sure, this is all beautiful and whatever, but no. Things are only gonna get worse. Like, I assume... Okay, those shadows scared me. I assume it's just gonna get worse. But, we are here. You copy? Oh, what's up, Connor? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Alright, hold up. Let me, let me talk to you in a second. Let me turn on the lights. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're closing all of these. I do not want to be looking outside. I want to feel safe. Hold up, Connor. Let me just close these up. I don't like how they're all open like that. It's really creepy. It makes me feel very unsettled. But give me one second. Just gonna close all these. I'm gonna put that there. All right. All right, Connor, what's Tower up? 11. Do you copy? Mm, copy that, Connor. What's up? I'm right here. Son of a bitch. Hey, whoa. What happened? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. What do you mean? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, I don't, but let me have a look. Uh, let me turn off the radio real quick. All right, we're going to need these. Oh. Yep. I see it. Do I see anything else? What's down here? Oh, that scared me. The wind moving and everything. I don't see anything else. I guarantee you I might be seeing something later with these. Uh, yeah, I do see it, Connor. I don't like it very much. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? Yup, I see it alright. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh, no. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Yep. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh, okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yeah, do you have any other detail? Uh, let's go with this one. No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on Stay it, Connor. Don't I forget will. to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. I will. Over and out. Over and out. All right, great. Okay, we're gonna take a flashlight and we're gonna take some bear spray. All right, here we go. Oh, great. Why is it always me? Why do I always have to do things? Oh, wait. How do I use my? I forgot how to use my flashlight for a second. Okay. Okay, as I was saying, if I seem a little jumpy, it's because there's storms that have been happening and all the thunder, you know, shaking the house and all that makes me a little unease. Where are we supposed to go? This way? I think. I don't know. We're just going to go this way. Oh, look at that. A bear sign. Caution. Bears in area. Uh-oh. 8.37 p.m. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Buddy. Uh, what was that? Okay, okay, okay. Just be safe. Just be careful. I heart Jen. She gives the best. Oh, oh my. <laughs> okay. I couldn't just turn around. I had to check the source of smoke. Um. Oh, oh, what, what, oh, hold up, Kayla. Let me read what she says. 
Um, oh my goodness. Hope everything's okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. Took the pictures. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. Jack, are you okay? Okay, so she's just worried about me. I see the fire. I hear whistling. I hear whistling. I hear something moving. Buddy, I promise you, I will not say anything if you just put your campfire out. You do that, we're good. I hear something. I hear something moving. Please, I promise, I will leave you alone if you just put out that fire. Or you know what? I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. You know what? Hey, I'm just going to put out this fire. Please don't come after me. I'm just going to put out this fire real quick. I don't know why this is glitching. And then I'm just going to be on my way. Uh. Okay, we're just going to pretend this is not happening right in front of me. Listen, buddy. I don't want any trouble. I'm just going to be on my way. Sorry for bothering you. I just had to put that out. That whistling is actually crazy and creepy. Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, he's right behind me. Okay, no. We're good, right? 9.07 p.m. Man. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Alright, let's get back to the tower fast. Okay. Let's go. I got the bear spray. Please, I'm getting very scared and anxious right now. I don't want to look back, but I feel like I might have to at some point. Okay, Connor's still awake. Uh, why are these open? I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared for no reason. Oh my goodness. I keep spraying the bear spray. Okay, I'm just gonna... Just gonna close all these real quick. can't tell if that's someone right there. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Close the door. Oh, I feel so much better. I had a report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Okay. Connor. Connor. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you Connor, copy? Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Uh, well... Nothing unusual. There was a little whistling, a man screaming, and i pretty sure I saw a haunted bucket. Are you kidding me? I know, right? Crazy. A haunted bucket. I had no idea. But hey, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Check out the fire. I'm gonna go to bed. Son of a bitch. Hey. They never learn, do they? What? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? alone third time anything else you notice in those woods uh there was a scream a scream must have been one of those red foxes they sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night uh, it was a pretty loud scream connor i don't know what you're talking about new guy but i heard from the rangers that a lot of, of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids oh boy he doesn't believe me kids went missing in that area about a month ago they were hiking with their families What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Okay. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Weird. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. What do you mean by that, Connor? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. 
that's unsettling. You guys, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. I'll just say no. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. You're welcome. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. Oh, thank you. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated, Connor. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, let me do this weather report for the night. Uh, let's just go see. Wait a second. <gasps> I gotta have fire first. But first I'll do the weather report. We got about 20 knots. Kayla. Oh. Oh man, that just scared me. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Okay. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Num num he he. Looking at the photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Okay, fine. Wait, shouldn't we get wood first? I don't feel safe knowing that there isn't like wood in here, so I'll... Oh man, the things I have to do. I'll take this bear spray though. see anyone okay no that's just the tree branch okay we're just gonna go get some wood that's all we gotta do is just get some wood keep the bear spray on me be very careful and we're not gonna have to worry about anything all right oh great I have to leave the bear spray okay Let's just go back up, start the fire so that way we can make some food and go to sleep. Not have to worry about anything besides my bear spray that I left. I don't have anything else to kind of protect myself with. Kind of a dumb decision, but you know what? It is what it is. There we go. At least we have fire. That's all that matters. And technically, if I wanted to, I can use gasoline. Just throw it onto someone. There we go. Oh! Well, hopefully that doesn't burn us down. Well, good enough. Alright, time to make a casserole recipe. Let's see here. We're gonna need this, actually. At this point, I was starving. I can tell. We need pasta. Alright, what else do we need? Marinara sauce and pepperoni. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Now we need some pepperoni. There it is. What else do we need? We need some mozzarella cheese and diced tomatoes. Uh, let's see here. This the cheese? Okay, I'll put that in there. And then we just need diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. There we go. Should probably stand up. All right, let's put this in the oven. And now we'll wait for it to be ready. Oh no. Connor, what now? You guys. You copy? Uh, Connor, what could it possibly be? I'm trying to make food. Oh man, please tell me I don't have to go out there, Connor, please. Connor? Mm. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Oh, okay. What do they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Oh, thank goodness. They can track them down again. I hope so too. I'll we'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I choose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to, get it. to it. They didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Yep, you got it. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Sounds I know it's good. Been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you. Good night, Connor. Alright, let me just do this real quick. I don't want to have to deal with this right now. Alright, let's see here. We got 47.2 and it was at 20. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 47.2. Last time I checked, it was 20 knots. Uh, I'll say it's still pretty clear. Is it assisted? Zero. Uh, Jack. 
There we go. Wait, weather condition, I guess, cloudy though? Okay, there, cloud. Is that better? There we go. Submitted, there we go. All right. Look at that. I just remembered the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. Uh, aren't you worried about crumbs and everything? But you know what? I ain't gonna judge. This is the only spot to sit in besides the chair. But I guess you want to be comfortable when you eat. I was already full. Dang. Alright, I guess we'll save this for later. Well, I guess I'll put it here. I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Alright, time to... Okay, that is not creepy at all. I'm a little scared to go to bed, but you know what? I don't have any bear spray. Uh-oh. What do I have? I guess I'll keep the matches next to me before I go to sleep, just in case I can light them on fire. There we go. All right. Time to go to bed. 2.27 a.m.? Oh, please, no. Oh my... What is that? I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Oh. No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get up. He's right there. He's right there. He's literally right there. Where are my matches? Do I hide? I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. I'm Peek, I'm gonna have to hide. Whoa, whoa. What do I do? I'm just gonna go back to sleep. I felt a presence outside. Connor. Oh! What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh my. Sorry, I'm starting to feel very uneasy. Okay. Um. I didn't know what to make of this moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Connor? 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 Please wake up. Connor? Wake up. Connor, do you got- I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? Connor. Please, there's something outside my door. Wait until morning. <sighs> Connor, sometimes I swear, why do I even talk to you? There's a skull outside my door. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. Obviously, he doesn't believe me. Connor, why do I even talk to you? I definitely don't think these are kids messing around, Connor. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. I watch too many horror movies. This feels like a, some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Let's not get carried away, you guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. I get that, but why would some kids be in the middle of nowhere putting a skull and some candles at the front of my door at 2.27 in the morning? Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. 
Tomorrow? I'm gonna be dead by tomorrow. For now, just lock your door. Take a deep breath. And try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. Oh, Connor. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over now. Thanks. For nothing! Connor didn't make any sense. Yeah, no kidding, Connor. But I'll try to sleep. We made it to night three, finally. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Oh, what is this? I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower or by scanning the density of trees all around me. Oh, I gotta clean this. Let's see here. This is dirty. My parent... Um... I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. I'm gonna pretend I did not see that. Maybe it'll just go away. I don't see anything there. Nothing out of the ordinary there. I don't see anything strange over here. This is the trail that leads up to me. Anything down there? Nope. Still nothing. Where's that sign at? Okay, there's that right here is what always freaks me out. This little thing, whatever, branch or whatever. Oh wait, the sign's like right down here, right? But yeah, let's just pretend that never happened. I was just doing my duty. Wait a second, Hello? what? Is anyone there? Nope. Uh, I need help. Uh, nope. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, someone answer. Okay, fine. I gotta do my job. But first things first, I'm gonna not get caught lacking. I don't want anyone taking, like, a picture of me or something. Don't worry, Connor. I'll do my job. I was too hungry. Oh my goodness, I just got scared by walking down. <laughs> I was too hungry to even help someone. That's funny. Alright, hold up. Let me just close these up. Because I don't want anyone looking at me. I'm coming. I don't know who you are, but I ain't gonna be much help. All right, let's see here. Let me put these down. All right, let's see here. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Buddy, why would you hike that far and long anyways? Literally by 6... About 6.05, 6.15, I would call it a day. I would just turn back. I think... I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is in your current location? What equipments do you have with you? Uh... What's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Wow, who would have thought? In the middle of the woods surrounded by trees. That is absolutely crazy. I would have never guessed you're there. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. Oh, I bet. I just want to find a way out of here. Uh, no. Surroundings, no. It's dark. What direction are you facing right now? I think I'm gonna go with landmarks. That's the only one that makes sense. I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Small stream? Okay. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay. Walking west. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Uh, Can you help me? Let me scan the map and I'll get back to you. Uh, let's see here. 
he was heading east to west. I heard something. There's a trail. Um. Hello? Oh, jeez, that scared me. Uh, Hello? Are, are you still there? Yeah, Both I'm just... Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Hold up. I, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake. Okay, hold up, hold up. The road. Buddy, let me just look at the map. Give me a second, you... Okay, that's Tower 12. Where's my tower at? Tower 11. Okay, he said he was heading... Oh, here. He's right over here. I'm, uh, go right, go right. Because, yeah, that's going to get him lost. So, yeah, go right. Go right. I I'm got at you. A trail intersection now, but Take I, the right I'm trail. going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. Yeah, I got you. I got I you. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Of course, I got you. You're welcome. What do you mean? I hear you! What do you mean you hear me? I hear your whistles. Oh. <laughs> That's not me. That's not me. I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. I hear the whistling. No! <gasps> That's not me. Are you sure? You're freaking me out. He's dead. He's dead. I got him killed. Someone's at the door. Someone is at the door. Someone is at the door. I'm scared. I'm too scared right now. I don't know what's going to happen. There's someone there. There's someone there. There's someone there. There is someone there. There's someone there. Okay, 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 okay. Think, 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 think. <gasps> I have an idea. I have an idea. I got you. Oh! Holy moly! What took you so long? Uh, I, I can't, I can't say anything. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I was just finishing up on my report. No worries, pal. Got your tower. Oh, this is the tower. Okay, this is the guy. Okay, well, it's glitched, but. No worries, pal. Got your tower. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep... Okay. Give me a second, guy. I ain't gonna lie. I was about to throw gasoline on the ground and light it up. Uh, yes? What were you doing there last... What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears? You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. What do you mean by that? Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Uh, just getting used to the new environment, that's all, man. That's the spirit. Yes, sir. Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up north yesterday? Gotta mention the skull. Oh Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. That is very true. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep a watch. Yeah, thanks for the supplies. <laughs> I was about to light them up. Alright, let's put these supplies down. Let's see here. We're going to put them uh, right here. Uh, right here. I forgot how to drop things. Okay. Let me just get this gasoline and put it right there. Alright, what now? Do we talk to Connor? Uh, let's just do our report for the night and call it a day then. Because things are getting too creepy out here. Dang, everything's all windy. 24 knots? 
All right, let's see here. 24 knots, we got about 55.4, okay. Let's see here, that guy is dead. <laughs> I can't believe we, oh my goodness. He is 100% dead. We got someone killed. Uh, I would say it's windy. Yeah, windy, zero, uh, I assisted one, but he's dead. But, done for the night. All right, time to go to bed, maybe? Or what do we do? I was way too hungry to go to bed without food. Right, let's get this casserole. Put it in the microwave. All right. Take these binoculars, see what I can see. Anyone down there? No. Anyone over there? I can see looks like we're pretty okay for the night nothing suspicious going on heard the microwave go off I think is it ready I liked eating in bed of course you do let's just eat the rest of this all right last bite I take that back we got one more bite all right now last bite there we go Man, that was good. I was done with it. We'll just put this in the dirty dishes and then we'll call it a night. It was getting cold. Oh, wait, yeah, we gotta get wood for the fire. No, no, no. Last time I went with my bear spray, it was gone. I'm gonna take the flashlight this time. Right, make sure no one's down there see anyone all right we're good we are okay I'm just gonna quickly grab some wood and then we're just gonna go ahead and go to bed things are getting a little too creepy and the winds picking up and it's stormy out so we might as well grab the wood um, I don't think we need anything else <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness you just gave me a heart attack, buddy. Who are you? What do you? Nah, you gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Uh, who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Oh man, buddy, you can't just be jumping up on me like that. That was terrifying. Thought I'd say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late? Hmm. I'm gonna ask him if he usually works this late. Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. You know what? That's true. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right. We rely information about fire sightings. I agree fire risks are high this season. Let's go with the first one. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them? Uh, what do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we tr Buddy, <laughs> what are you talking about? And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to pure- Oh my goodness, buddy. Are you one with nature right now? I should head back to the tower now. It's getting late. I'll see you around. Silas? Is that his name? Uh, I'm just gonna tell him I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep. Wait. I don't recall telling you my name. I do not remember telling you my name whatsoever. Um. Okay. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. 
I'm pretty sure I did not tell you my name or who I was. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. I mean, I guess he's working on the line since he's heading that way, but... I'ma just... I'ma just go backwards in case he starts following me. Go, 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 go. Lock the door, lock the door, lock the door. Lock it, lock it. Close it. Oh my! Okay. Okay, put that there. Need to light it up, yep. Oh, I spilt a little bit, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Nope. Man, why? He, this guy's got me freaked out. There we go. Okay. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Uh, I'm here, Jack. Guy. You there? Oh, man, we gotta tell him about this weird guy, though. Connor, listen. Just had the weirdest thing happen to me. Now. Yeah, right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to the firewood, ran into Silas. I, who's that's his name, Silas? I'm just gonna say I went down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Well, I ran into the radio tower worker. Ran into who? The guy maintenance that the nearby radio tower. The nearby yeah, I'll go with that second guy. Come on, Connor. <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What? Trying to yank my chain now. What are you what are you talking about, Connor? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. What? It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Then who was I talking to? Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look. Is true. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. But he, he knew my name. He did know my name. I don't recall telling him my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense since he's working at the radio tower. Okay, yeah, it, possibly, yeah. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. So let's call the cops. Next time you see him, get his information. Connor! We need to figure this out. What? Connor, you make no sense to me. Why can't we just call the cops and bring them up here? We are gonna die out here. It's just me and you out here, buddy. And you're like, I don't know, a good mile away from me. Maybe two. It's literally us, a hiker who's probably dead, some random guy whistling, and a guy disguising himself as a staff member. We are so dead. Connor's gonna get us killed. We're all dying. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, okay. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. I, I don't even want to hear it, Connor. I don't even want to hear it. I'm going to bed. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment. That I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Alright guys, and that does it for this part on Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. Things have gotten super creepy from the skull in front of our door to that creepy figure in our window to the guy who we pretty much got killed and apparently the maintenance guy who is not a maintenance guy who knew our name. Things are getting so creepy. I'm excited to see how this game ends. If you guys have been enjoying, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let me know down below what your favorite part has been. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one.